Bye bye rumors, hello Verizon iPhone 4. iOS 4.3 beta is out and this seems to be much bigger than just a typical update. And rumors are that the home button will soon disappear from iOS devices. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everybody, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Now iReview, the show where we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. As always, let's start off with the cool. Well, rumors have finally ended. The Verizon iPhone 4 is finally out, though there aren't many changes. It's not an iPhone 5 or an iPhone V as we expected. It's just a typical iPhone 4 with a different antenna design that does claim to not have the same antenna gate issues that we saw in the AT&T version. Now with this iPhone 4, you won't get simultaneous data and calls because it's a CDMA phone and it doesn't bring a SIM tray, so don't expect it to be a world phone. It'll cost you the same one for the 16 gigabyte model and the same 299 for the 32 gigabyte model you can get a pre-order at February 3rd or you can also get to buy it on February 10th though we're not sure how lines are gonna be there sadly there are better things on this Verizon iPhone than we expected everybody wanted it to be an LTE device and sadly we did not get that so not really sure if it's really worth buying or waiting for the iPhone 5 or 4S or 4 or whatever in June or we're not really sure if we can expect this to be the same yearly cycle that we've seen with past iPhones in the AT&T you know, area so we'll see what happens. Well, iOS 4.3 beta is out for developers and sadly we're not going to get many changes. First of all, one thing we didn't mention on the past news post was the fact that the Verizon iPhone owners are going to get a personal hotspot feature that will allow you to use your phone as a Wi-Fi router for up to five devices. And iOS 4.3 beta brings this feature to AT&T devices, though we're not sure what to make of it with AT&T given the fact that not even tethering works. And well, you'll also get repeating interval changes for text messaging so if you currently get an alert every two minutes just once or twice you can now choose to get it ten times five times and you will also get changes in fonts for notes and that is pretty much it up to now we really don't know what to expect remember this is just the beta and there are gonna be beta 2s beta 3s probably and release candidates so we'll see in the end what they end up releasing yeah, we're a smartphone website and we don't really cover the iPad much, but one of the interesting things that came with iOS 4.3 beta for the iPad is for you to be able to switch between applications and even go to the home screen with multi-touch gestures that involve four to five fingers. Now, I can't imagine myself using four fingers, you know, for an iPhone screen, but one of the things we do expect, probably not on iOS 4.3, but probably in the future, is to see that the home button disappears and that we'll probably be able to navigate between applications in the iPhone with at least two or three multi-touch gestures or fingers. So really don't know what to make of it yet. Again, the beta is just out there on beta one. So we'll see if, you know, the changes do come to iOS 4.3 for iPhone users or probably just the iPad. And continuing on with the iOS 4.3 beta leaks, one of the things that we did see is that Apple switching from the current PowerVR GPU to the new XGS 543 GPU on the next generation iPhone. Now what this means is improved graphics performance to up to 25% and probably could mean better battery life while playing games or playing videos or watching images or stuff like that. Anything that has to do with the graphics interface. We really don't know what to expect, not really sure if it will be there again these are just beta releases and these beta releases include options for new drivers for this power vr gpu so not really sure if it's really smart to move to the verizon iphone with these new changes coming into the next generation iphone so again hold your horses hold your breath not really sure if you should wait but hey these are new things that could probably come in future releases now rumors out there have Apple working on a new pen that will allow hovering gestures to control your iPhone. We're not really sure if this is new screen technology that will allow some sort of a capacitive magnetic uh, finger heat whatever or if we're just getting new features that will work with the Apple front facing video camera that we use for FaceTime. If this hovering thing works with the camera, then we could expect it to work with current generation iPhone models. Not really sure what to expect, but we have seen Microsoft working on this technology for Windows Phone, so, hmm, competition. I really like that. 
Well, that does it for the cool. Let's continue on with the not so cool. As expected, well, and we were expecting it to happen on iOS 5, but it seems that iOS 4.3 beta is not supporting the iPhone 3G or the second generation iPod Touch. Now, given the rocky updates that iPhone 3G owners have had with iOS 4.0 and the next generation releases, our advice to you is try to get another device. It seems that Apple is not caring about backwards compatibility anymore as they did with the previous generation iPhone and the updates that happened afterwards. I mean, sad news. And well, if you've been waiting for the carrier unlock feature to work on iOS 4.2.1 or iOS 4.1's basebands on the iPhone 4, you'll be sad to know that Musselner, which is the current dev team guy that's in charge of Ultra Snow, has just confirmed that he will not be releasing an update to Ultra Snow for these basebands on the iPhone 4. He will wait for iOS 4.3 to be out or 4.2.5 or whatever comes out that brings an untethered jailbreak solution which is really bad news for a lot of us that have been waiting to be able to unlock our phones. Again, now the baddest part of this, these news is the fact that he said the same thing back when iOS 4.1 was out and he said no, we'll wait for iOS 4.2 to be released and nothing happened. So, not really sure what's happening to the dev team lately. I think they've been working too much on PlayStation and not really focusing on iOS. I mean, not really sure what to expect. That's it for this week's show. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.